Bird can Takamura do it? Oh. And the hit, Takamura waking oh. up on the DP! It's pure Takamura fashion! He sent Big Bird out of the tournament! There is no fear Russell available. Angry Bird shot. Karkana, we're getting close. That Almost could be, be it. Throw. And one more hit yes. needed for Angry Bird. And Angry Bird getting it! That's gonna be it! Angry Bird duo! Wow. Welcome everyone to Esports in 30. I'm Brody Moore and alongside me today is Jackie and Drew Face. And today it's all about fighting games. And this weekend was all about the Brussels Challenge. So give me a quick recap of just what that's all about. Well, it started up in 2017 by CCL and Kefta, and they've just been really putting their heart and soul into it. Mm -hmm. And they kind of wanted to bring an international quality tournament to the players in Brussels because they're... I mean, they got amazing names in Europe. Mm -hmm. I mean, it showcases some Middle Eastern talent, showcases uh, European talent. It's, it generally gives a spotlight to a region that doesn't really get much coverage in the FGC, which is Europe, and that's a really strong region by itself. So yeah, it was a really interesting weekend. All right, well, I'm hyped to get into it. Let's not waste any time and check out the Street Fighter V highlights from the Brussels Challenge. Activation, he has to guess here. A throw will close it out. On channel on the verge of defeat here. Takamura in the driver's seat. What's it going to be? Delays it. Oh, the shimmy! The shimmy! Oh, and the crowd goes the crowd. wild! The crowd going nuts! Oh, and Kefta <laughs> Ross, they're rushing the stage. He's going to activate. That's through. No, the walk up throw. So tricky. Oh, oh, and that time he set it up perfectly. Problem X with the bait and switch, the conditioning. And Big Bird is 100%, I believe, on the reads. Oh, he gets the way to go through. Problem oh. X takes it. Of course, he will go for it. b Trigger is full on both sides. What's going to happen? TKR has to be trying to slide on the best choice. That's going to be big damage. Oh, and there he closes is. it out. And Shax is going to be incredibly happy. Jumping. I like that. Just oh. trying to jump away. But unfortunately, oh. I said you can't Reaction. react, but Hurricane can. Punch Is he going to kill? Oh, my Lord. Oh, oh. and he comes down. Ooh, Ooh. the parry of the fear of Russell Takamura. Was so ready for that. Oh, and he's going to maximize it. Oh, oh. <laughs> what a mate. What a oh, oh, All right, hard knock down. What's it going to be? DP on Wake of the was a good. One point and fade. Activate v -trigger. No, he has a tool to get through a fireball. Let's do something. Takamura still doing it regardless. Oh Ooh. my god. Completely disengaging. Happy to play full screen now with this life lead. Ooh. Ooh, that's gonna be big. And that's gonna be it. Angry Birds validates his ticket to the winner's final. Unable to get anything guaranteed here, but probably yeah. back dashes. Great situation here for Angry Bird. He's just gonna have to. Oh, oh there it is! And there it is! Angry Bird qualifies into grand final. Wow, that's gonna be. More life in for oh, Big Bird. Takamura shimmy. with a challenge. Not killing yet. He's gonna get one guess for the game situation. EX meter on deck for Big Bird. Can Takamura do it? Oh. And the hit. Takamura waking oh, up on the DP. It's pure Takamura fashion. He sent Big Bird out of the tournament and qualifies to lose the final. Top three at home. What a day for the Belgian kids. In oh, Problem X gets out. Although, okay, activates. Ooh. Oh man, that's oh gonna be Oh my dead. god, what a finish! Ends. What is happening here? No one expected that. <laughs> not punishable, negative, but not punishable. Though. Oh, oh and again, serious. another two light confirm. An angry bird offers himself two match point. Who can stop this man today? Yeah, but there is no fear Russell available. Angry bird, but Crush Counter, we're getting close. That Almost could be, be it. Throw. And one more hit yes. needed for angry bird. And angry bird getting it. Cancels the feature girl and just like that, 3 nil over the even champ, the champion for the Brussels Challenge 2019, Angry Bird and big congrats to Angry Boo Angry Boo! <laughs> On winning, winning the Brussels Challenge. Um, okay, Drew, uh, you didn't warn me last week uh, about this guy. Hey. It wasn't even brought hey. up. What up with that? Hey, hey, all right, look. AVM flu, it's important. <laughs> big, angry, get them both. Bliss Man and I, that was our second pick. We knew he was a great Zeku. We just thought this was going to be Big Bird's year or Problem X is going to dominate once again. <laughs> That's why we didn't pick him. But yeah. you know what? He proved us wrong. Yo, so, okay, awesome. so they, well, he's, again, uh, before you guys said Big Bird, they're both um, from the United Arab Emirates. Yes. Mm -hmm. They're homies, uh, baby. Is, is that region just like more stacked than maybe they thought originally? I, you know what? 
this is the best part about tournaments like Brussels. They highlight special hidden talents like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm not saying that Big Bird and Angry Bird are hidden talents per se. They're just not really in the mainstream after you see New Cycle mm -hmm. that often because they're so far away. But they're, they're equally world-class talents. Mm. And the sad part about that is that we don't get to see these guys awesome. And, and he has Angry Bird old has the best Zeku, in my opinion, in the world. Okay, so is, do you think that's why he was able to take down Problem X twice then? It was so convincing. Well, they actually play a lot together yeah. offline, so they mm -hmm. play all the time. So there's a little bit of player matchup in that, as Tyrant mentioned, in the tournament. But by the end, like, Angry Bird just had the download. And I mean, he's been looking more and more confident as it goes by. And there is that stress mm -hmm. to get as many points as possible early on, qualify, because he had a stressful end of the CPT last year just trying to get in the Capcom Cup. Mm -hmm. I, I think that it was a bit of a momentum on Angry Bird's part because in their first set they were playing, they are going really back and forth, but unfortunately Problem X was probably a little tired out by having a really stressful set in, against Takumura that was as well. So that's so kind of like the Okay, the so you think there. so you think taking it back, Problem X probably could have like, taken this? Like, uh, there was you a know chance? what, I, it was, it, it's hard to say because it's tough. It, it's tough to say because they're both on equal playing ground. They're both world-class talents. Uh -huh. And like you said, flights to Emirates to London is very, very cheap, so they get to play often. Yeah, true, true, true. Okay, you talked about the Zeku there, and I just want to see um, how does uh, his Zeku compare to Momochi's? Uh, they See, Angry Bird's a little more aggressive. He's got a little more risky play within his Zeku, whereas like Momochi's a little more neutral heavy. He yeah. likes to like methodically pick at you. Well, that's you what you're saying too, that. is like, I think like North America's having a bit more of a, you know, success because of the aggression. Like, is that... For sure, now that we see more of that, is that like the way it's going in this game right now? Is, is aggression worse? It's, it's kind of then a turnaround. Season okay. one, we saw very American heavy because they're like, yeah, roll the dice. Like, I'll do these 50-50s. I love 50-50s, flip the corn, yeah. baby. But if you look, uh, season 3.5 and now season four, we're seeing that consistency even out where we're seeing, you know, it's punk has been consistent for America, but like Takedo, still very much there. All the Japanese players, still very much there. Mm -hmm. It's definitely become more of a consistent game now that people have their head wrapped around sort of the meta and what you need to do, which is be aggressive. Well, I think one of the complaints from season one to two to three to four was that the game wasn't really so, it didn't really reward defensive neutral play. Mm -hmm. And so Capcom is listening, and so they've been kind of toning down the whole rushdown aspect because okay. at the end of the day, when you kind of uh, make rushing down the standard, it's not exciting anymore. It just looks like a bunch of two, like a bunch of slap fights. I don't every, know. I like match. I like aggro and slap fights. Maybe maybe it's like good for the spectator. I don't know. Like it's definitely good for the spectator. I mean, Shax's Laura, like that was fun. Well, he he was messing around on her a bit with the yeah. side chick Karen. Hey, then as soon as he though. went back. You mentioned earlier though the mustache. Not good. <laughs> Shax. Your mustache has got to go. The call You out. need <laughs> to shave. He told me it powers him up. He's the like, I, he's up. like, I need my mustache to perform well. And I was like, As a, you did it when, Honey Bunny. We need to clearly shave Clearly it. it wasn't good enough. <laughs> As a fellow stash pro, it does power you up. It's a sign of uh, This is full. <laughs> no, that's real. That's real. That is a, you know, just zoom in close up. That's all we're showing from now. Yeah. <laughs> this is face. <laughs> Brussels mustache tier list. Like, okay, if you were at Brussels, S, and then and then we have Big Bird. Oh, very good. And then good all thing. the way down, Shax. What tier? <laughs> what tier is that? What letter tier? Uh, D. D. D, D minus? D. D minus. Uh, <laughs> all right. But you know what? That's why Angry Bird won. He had the best mustache at oh, that it's, tournament. It's so strong. It's yeah. a new meta. It, it's, like a, it's like a no gradient in it. It's just a solid patch of hair. <laughs> and it's just he glued looks on. angry. Like, yeah, if you right. see him, to quote Kendra, she's like, it looks like he can make fire with his fists. Oh, and, absolutely. like, you see a picture of him, and he's like... Very angry. All right, I, I want to move on because I'm getting I'm getting mustache envy right now because I can't grow one at all. Um, we got, so we talked about Angry Bird and, and but the man he defeated Problem X touch on him a bit here. Now uh, he's been kind of like looked at as like the top guy in Europe. Is that changing now after this loss, um, or do you still kind of hold him in that kind of regard? The problem is is that the conversation should have never been Problem X is the best in Europe. The problem. Ironically, the problem is, is that there's <laughs> there's a, a group of players of elite world class talent that are being the other world class talents in, mm -hmm. a, in other regions, and and people don't talk about them, and that's that I, I that's a shame. That's criminal almost. I don't like that. 
I they're, really don't like them. I don't know. If they're really strong. I think they always have been kind of disregarded. Even looking at players like Luffy, like Luffy won an Evo and everyone was like, it's a fake win. And I was like, it, it can't be a fake, fake win. win. Yeah. He blanched Yeah, and he's consistently in, uh, he was in Capcom Cup. I mean, he's always racking up points. So I think there's definitely sort of a blind eye turned on Europe. And I think mm -hmm. that sleeping on them for so long is proving to be a problem in season four. Mm -hmm. A problem X. <laughs> I say problem anytime. <laughs> He's a problem anywhere, anytime. Okay, enough of these. No more puns. Um, we're gonna we're gonna talk about um, uh, Takamura for a minute. Um, just guy, I think the star of the show here. Um, for anybody who's not familiar with this guy, what's his play style all about? He's a shuttle player, so therefore he has a very strong neutral and fireball game. Yeah. And in a game that doesn't really reward that. He's, he's it's kind so, of exciting to see, yeah. right? So oh, go I, against the green. I'm a shoto player. I love seeing that stuff. Yeah. And the best part is he's very exciting too because he he likes to go in. He likes to dash up randomly when when he feels like the opponent is looking for a normal, and then grab them or like frame trap them and do that really big explosive burst damage. Yeah. It's just an awesome time. And like on top of that, his name is a Epo reference, like you were mentioning yeah. earlier behind the scenes. So like, do you do you think maybe there's like another game he's playing? He's like, okay, maybe I'm not, you know, oh, he's on, playing on the, the field. Game, yeah. <laughs> No, I mean, like, on the field, he's like, okay, you know, maybe I don't have the uh, as much advantage, you know, with uh, with a play style and character choice, but, you know, having that crowd behind you, maybe that gives the energy to, to pop crowd off. Crowd definitely and, powered yeah. him up because he was top eight last year, yeah. and I mean, what, he's known as the Bonchan killer now. Yeah. Oh, yeah, absolutely. He, mm -hmm. he beat Bonchan. He, he took, there's some Japanese talent in this tournament. There's, like, two Japanese talents, like... Trashbox came out, yeah, Bon Chan came out. Uh, there's also a, a hipster pick, the Koano, mm -hmm. the Colleen Koano. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and he, he. Top eight? Yeah, beat him. Okay. Takamura beat him. Like, and I was, I'm sitting there like, how do you beat Colleen? That's a bad matchup for Akuma in a way. Uh -huh. Well, get, get, me cut, get me caught up on Akuma right now. Like, what's the, what's the state of uh, uh, Akuma? He's oh, he's God. still top five. He's still top five. Oh, okay, still, okay. Like, the best. Everything. <laughs> so, so here's That's a, a man. Yeah. That's a man. <laughs> that, <laughs> I don't know That's how. That's what you want. I don't know how he has hair like Simba or Mufasa. Yeah. Well, like ah, uh, he's still the best. That's yes. gotta go too. Yeah. Like Shaq's cool. mustache, like nostalgia costume. Spend the money. Oh yeah. Get okay. It. Oh, yeah. All right. Okay. Uh, aside from these these like top three though, are there any other players that like kind of stood out in the press that you were, weren't really like paying attention to before, but now you definitely got an eye on? Yo, TKR. Yeah, TKR is a like uh -huh. he's 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 wild. He's a wild man. Yeah. He's kind of like. Uh, He's zero, zero blast. Yeah, he's yeah. he's very erratic in his gameplay. But uh, there's also another Vitality player uh, from Hurricane. Cameroon. Yeah, Hurricane. He came from Cameroon, represented Africa, which is another yeah. underrepresented region. I don't even know an African player till that weekend. Yeah, what, 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 what was going on? Like, what, where are they? Get, is it? Where's the practice coming from? Like, how how are they just coming up out of nowhere? Is like, are they maybe just going like traveling around uh, that we don't know I about and getting some experience? Or? Yeah, in there's the a UK. population in the UK that's yeah. primarily African, and he decided to represent his Cameroonian roots ah, gotcha. because he wanted to okay. show uh, other people, and it's an awesome cause. He wanted to show other people that's really sick. that uh, Cameroon does can play. And there is a scene that plays video games in Africa. It's just, it doesn't get well known yeah. at all. Like No one covers it. But Yeah, it's hard with I, the visas, too, because yeah. there was a Winter Stays On session where you mm -hmm. won a chance to go to Evo Japan, uh, and okay. then due to the Cameroon visa, the player that won mm, couldn't go, so they gave it yeah. to Jester. Gotcha. Yeah, it's, you know what, now the, the more you talk about the, Br the Brussels Challenge, it does seem really cool that, you know, um, I think it's probably so important that, you know, if someone's, even if from here, you're representing this region, just to show them, hey guys, get into this, you know, we can do this yeah. too, um, and then uh, hopefully get that region more more like uh, active, and this was right? a ranking yeah. like we had this play at a ranking that's like the lowest to get points yeah yeah, yeah that's, that's really sick all right now I want to move on to something a little bit different here um, there's nothing better than a pop-off and uh, <laughs> there was a couple of them at the Brussels challenge so Drew Jackie we're gonna take a look at them and give them a little bit of judgment Ooh. you guys like to judge people love it right. <laughs> oh no <laughs> all right so the first one comes again from hometown favorite Takamura on channel on the verge of defeat here Takamura in the driver's seat what's it gonna be delays it oh, the shimmy! The shimmy! in the stage oh my and Takamura goodness. is the one who closes it out and will advance to winners Bonchan wow in losers bracket I love that just like oh, what's going on what's going on hey yo when you get your homies popping on with you man that's definitely not a bad pop-off <laughs> at all dude especially that dude in the back is the other for you dude that I respect that you're Stand up. 
<laughs> this you were more like uh, pop. You were like popping off though when uh, during the last play, like the, the oh, kill. Oh, dude, that shit me was gone. <laughs> like, the dude danced in and out. He was like, yo, I don't care if you're Japanese. I don't care if you're God. Like, I'm gonna do that to you anyway. Popped. That's Free. amazing. But That's it's weird. like very Akuma in, in yeah, style yeah, of the yeah, pop yeah. up, just like the stand up. Yeah. I was like, yes, yes, the you pose. are your character. Yeah, <laughs> you stand your ground, right? All right, let's check out the second pop off uh, at the Brussels Challenge. There was also a Guilty Gear tournament, and the winner of that was uh, Teresa, and he went wild. This can't be real life. It was right into a button, and Teresa, he One more hit. Tension, One more hit. That's it. This is it. Teresa, it's your Brussels Challenge 2019 champion. Yo, oh, 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 oh. He's off the stage. Absolutely overjoyed. Wow. What what an amazing play. I think it's safe to say that he's happy about winning. I think it's safe to say he's happy about winning. Yeah, that, that was more like Dragon Ball. Like, he went super, super Saiyan on that one. Sold out. <gasps> you know what? Like, what he did, like, Jam is a low-tier character in Guilty Gear. So I respect that pop-off. He did something amazing. Even though he fought another low-tier, which is the answer. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, like, we don't forget about that. Don't worry about that. Forget about that. That pop-off was amazing. And shouts to the shirt. Burger Plus is a great brand. <laughs> so, yeah, I, I don't. So wait, what, what's your game plan when it comes to, to pop offs? You do the, you do the, like, you get the posse up on stage, or you got solo? Ooh, you know, like this hair. I don't want anyone touching that, it. You know, gotta be solo. <laughs> I earned it. I earned it. The homies are just riding my coattails. <laughs> <laughs> you calling out anybody up on stage with you? Hey, I mean, when I pop off, I'm generally swearing like a sailor. Uh, I may have thrown a stick. I may have called the entire person's nation or city like really bad with things. I, I'm, I apologize. I'm really mm -hmm. sorry. But I'm generally an emotional pop off guy, and I have to do a solo. All right. I will be swinging my arms. Yeah, Someone's yeah, yeah. getting punched. That's like. fair. Um, now, uh, well, that's about it for this one. We have a couple of fan questions I'll get to in just a second. Um, just uh, to let people know there know, there's uh, a tournament coming up uh, very soon, I believe. Um, what can we look forward uh, to that? I think it's uh, the mix-up. The mix-up? Yeah, the mix-up. Yeah, in Lyon. Lyon. Yeah. The, see, the, I think the mix-up's actually going to be a hot spot for a lot of European uh, talent as well because okay. it's going to have a lot of... It's a premier destination, yeah, so it's yeah, going to yeah. have a lot of, it's, it's a Capcom Pro Tour event, it's also a Tekken World Tour event, it's actually the first, I believe, major in the Tekken World, or master event in the Tekken World Tour, or at least Challenger, and those are really big points in that mm -hmm. uh, circuit. So it's going to be an amazing circuit, once again, to see all these talents, mm -hmm. like yeah, un underutilized talents. Are the, are the points like really like, are there big implications with the points right now, or is the CP2 too early on to you, really? You need Premier and Super Premier. Those those are the ones. Okay. It used to be like season one, you could go to the ranking events and collect mm -hmm. that way by killing there, but they've totally kind of rescaled it where premieres mm -hmm. are very important. Okay, so everybody better be out of this one. Yeah. All right, okay. The, uh, clearly, uh, it didn't work out last week when you guys made predictions, but just kind of an early thought of who we're going to see at that top. Give me like one to two. Like, what's that grand finals going to look like? Big Bird, Luffy. Uh, Problem X and probably uh, Japanese talent. So no sync up at all on this one. Yo, no. Why? Big bird. Okay, I, I like to pick up. I like to pick up. I like to pick a pet org every okay. <laughs> every season, and this season is Nasser. <laughs> okay, Nasser's got a really really good talent yeah. roster, but uh, I believe. But, but I believe you're anytime. wrong. <laughs> is what he's saying. <laughs> he's a problem <laughs> anytime, <laughs> anywhere. Problem. <laughs> Problem X. Hey, honestly, I, I'm always on that Problem X site, so I'm a little bit on, on his side right now. But uh, I do want to see uh, Big Bird. Luffy though, too. Mika, everyone loves seeing a pair of dice up on the stage. You know what I mean? <laughs> well, it. look, Luffy, yeah. <laughs> Luffy's one of my like personal favorite people because he's an amazing guy. So I, I would like to see and more real. successful. And real. Yeah, he's real. Oh, he's real honest, and that's what I love about the dude. But. So it's kind, of, uh, it's kind of more like a fan pick that you're going for on. No, and he's then. solid. He's an yeah, evil he's a champ. Okay, he's not, true, he's yeah. not bad. The thing is, like, it, it's it's he's a little. I think he's gonna peak later on. He's not gonna peak at mix up. Yeah. He's not gonna do well at mix up. I think he's gonna peak later on. All right, we're, we'll find out once that happens. But uh, again, just reach uh, reaching out to Twitter here. Um, got a couple uh, couple questions for you guys. Um, so I'm gonna can't find it here. So we'll go up there. Uh, first one's from uh, Skill Memu. Uh, favorite wrestler. Katsuyori Shibata. The I know King nothing of about wrestling, so I can't even interject on this. Oh, um, I like, okay, I picked a Japanese wrestler too. I like Jushin Liger. Ooh, Yo, yeah. the, ja Japanese the greatest super nuts. junior heavyweight of all time. 
Jushin Liger. And he's got an amazing, amazing outfit, and he named himself after a Mecca show. Right? He's, he's a legend. Yeah. All right, okay. Uh, and the, the next one um, was from, actually from Drew Face. Uh, hey. So this will be to you. Um, best car clone? What no, is it? Best, best char clone. What is it? So we're both kind of fanatics. Oh, and I had okay. to ask her this question because I was always curious. What's your favorite char clone, Jackie? Yeah, it's got to be a Franchi char because from it's Gaia. like from Gaia Gear. Because in the series, the char clone always loses. Like he always loses his love. He always loses everything, and then has to go crazy and drop a colony on Earth. But in this one, he finally gets a good ending. He gets the girl. All right, I I'm a need romantic. to get caught up on Gundam as well because <laughs> I, my personal favorite is still Char. Cause that dude, original? Yeah, the original one. But you said shark clone. I know, but uh, <laughs> yo, you threw me for a loop right now. Oh yeah, yeah you I'm, got I'm debated. I'm de I, got I asked that question, so I can I can definitely say that. <laughs> oh my god! All right, we're out of time right now, uh, Jackie. We know you're busy, so we're gonna get, let you get on your way. But thanks for joining us, talking to some Street Fighter me. today. Awesome. Now we got to switch gears to the rest of the FGC. There are some major Smash events on the horizon, so to get you ready for it, let's check out the highlights from Kawaii 2019. Kawaii. Brings it back with the heavy hit. Whenever he gets his one hit, he makes it count. Oh, There's the parry! Oh, my God! Oh, that's going to kill! Manager this... coming out with the insane oh. parry to punish! Oh, this is actually that's, so scary. That's pretty good. Yeah, Larry going high. He's like, okay, I'm not going to give you a chance to win the game right here. Oh, oh he botched his punish. And this is actually really bad. Is Larry going to drop this game? This wow! And Boyd is here in his hometown. He's got the hometown buff. He's powering oh, up. Is it out again? Call out! Where are you jumping? This is a no-fly zone! 133%, Boyd still has two stocks. Santor is gonna have to really turn on his engine game. But the back air? Ooh, but we're living though, Samsor got that DI, but again, the edge guard, all oh, three stocks off stage. Boyd takes it, game five for Samsora. Yeah, it's gonna be a little harder to get to some of these lower percent combos as well because of the rage Samsora had, but nonetheless, Samsora is already brought it back, and wow, the pan taking him straight up. Oh man, the base, um, Thunder not connecting again for Void. Oh, there's a down tip, but the Fourier connects here. He's living! He's definitely living and using the Thunder Drill to interrupt the, the turn up, but in there connects, and Sansora takes game three. So Air dodging right around. The drag down into F tilt from Void. This oh, is anyone's game. This can go either way. Oh, but the Fourier connects, and Sansora is your Kawaii Con 2019 champion. All right, Drew, Samsara popped off there Ooh. in the Grand Finals with Peach. So how was he able to take down Void? Um, in is it just, you know, Peach is OP or is like, he's got Void's number? See, if you were like a dirty puff man like you are, Jeez, you would definitely me, say Pete. it's because of Peach. However, I think it's because of momentum and Void has a really long history of choking. Mm -hmm. And it's weird because Kawaii Khan is in Hawaii. Obviously, that's why it's called Kawaii. Kawaii. Uh, Kawaii. But the thing is, is uh, it, it, this is his home area. Like he's from Hawaii, yeah. and Void, Void choked on his home area. So he yeah, has a long history of just choking. And okay, so you think it's just it, that, that was on Void for get, taking that L? Oh yeah, he's oh, definitely okay. taking that L. I, I think like early on in that set, with the first set, he was he was up like two games, mm -hmm. and he, he just he just he just choked and lost like six games. Yeah, I, I wonder. I wonder what that is. It's just like you get in your own head, or it's like you realize, or like you know, your opponent finally figured it out. Is it it's is like, it him choking, or was it that he got figured out? I mean, I have a, a weird like armchair psychologist theory. All right, all right. And hey. that theory is because sometimes when you think about the win, you're not really thinking about how to win. Mm. Therefore, you're not playing the game. You, you lose the game by thinking about the win. You know, you you know the destination, the but you don't know the path to get there. Yeah, and that's look the problem. That. Hashtag deep. Uh, anyways, we're going to look to a, a match, or sorry, a tournament coming up. It's the 2GG Prime Saga. Um, give us a little preview. I mean, there are a lot of people uh, attending this one. Uh, look, it's going to have some melee players come out yeah. of the show. It's also going to have... You got Mango Leffen, I think. Mango and Leffen yeah. are coming out, so that's going to be crazy. I want to know what Leffen's picking, but on top of that, the Smash Ultimate talent, yeah. Tweak, Nairo, Dabuz, Salem, Mr. R, Void, and my boy, MK Leo. Yo, that's everybody. Yeah. That's stacked, bro. That is a stacked tournament, baby. So how do you even, like... I don't even know... I, wanna, I was going to ask you to, like, yo, give, who you looking out for, like, to take this, but, like... I don't even know like where to start. Like who tweak probably? I don't know. MK Leo could take, but like 300% bias. 300% 300 
Like, I already tripled down on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is MK Leo. I love sword characters, baby. Yeah. Fire Emblem is my game. It's and he's going to win. He's going to win. You heard it here first. It's confirmed. The script has been, <laughs> has been written. I, ri I wrote in it. Yeah, That's perfect. not even English, but I wrote in it. You wrote in it. It was wrote in. Don't know we're nice. going with this. So let's talk about uh, Evo. Um, you know, we got Smash 4 there. Um, it turns out that is still the top number uh, of registrants in that, uh, as oh, yeah. we Smash just got Ultimate? them put oh, yeah. Yeah. And then uh, I think next to that was Street Fighter at second. Uh, and then we got uh, Under Night uh, at fourth. Yeah. Actually, doing pretty good. You know what? I'm. Under Night getting fourth is actually a big, big surprise because that game's been out for the last like six years, probably four years, yeah, six yeah, years. Yeah, yeah. And it's growing now. It's growing now because it's a good game. That's what happens when you make good games, baby. Yeah. Yo, what, what, about, what, about, what about Samurai then in fifth? Samurai Showdown is only going off new game hype, just like Smash you, Ultimate. You think? Okay. Yeah, but oh, so, you, so you're calling it Ultimate right now. You think like Ultimate's gonna like lose that edge in the coming years? Like no, you don't think this don't is think, like I a think boom for Ultimate? It'll, it'll be first and second. It'll be first and second all the time. Okay. Uh, because not only does Ultimate have the new game boost, it's also a great game. It's also a really fun game to play. So I think it's gonna be like a top three registrant game at Evil for a long time to come. Yeah. I'm just, I'm just wondering, because I mean, like, there's obviously a lot of Smash fans out there. I, I, I really feel like the, this is a big, it's not just a bubble, like, it ain't gonna burst. Like, no, I feel no, like I Ultimate feel is, like, gonna be staying at the top for a while. Unless, of course, like, again, you know, there's some gripes with Street Fighter, so, like, maybe that's some of the issue with uh, Registrant right now, or? Uh, look, Street Fighter, unfortunately, when it came out of the gate, it had a lot of negative reception. Yeah. Uh, myself included, I didn't like the game. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but now it's gone. It became a better game, so you're gonna. It's gonna like be that. okay. It's gonna it thought be about right. its life and it, it worked on its problems. Oh yeah. And uh, it, it was it, like a. It was <laughs> like a good amicable breakup. <laughs> I like it. All right. Um, and in news outside uh, the game, we actually got to talk about uh, the legendary fighting game player Goichi, who's going for a big buff right now. Engaged. The engagement buff. We know so many players suddenly do better once they get married. You know what they, is it? You know what they say. Happy wife, happy life. And you got to keep her happy by keep winning, baby. By winning, that's all you, you got gotta to do. Bring, it, bring in the dough, right? That's your, so I, do you really think that's, that's what it is? It's just like, all right. Oh, it's only temporary. Successful. You know, yeah. we're men. We get lazy. Yeah. <laughs> we that's forget very to, true. We, See, we forget to wash the dishes. We forget to put the toilet seat down. And we also forget to win some tournaments sometimes to pay the bills. I skipped the hard part, and I just started off lazy. See? That's good. That's that's strat. That's, that's meta right there. That's, ma that's right. mad meta. One more thing we got to do here, Drew. We got to discuss your FGC Player of the Week. Oh man, it you is... gotta hit me with it. It is the sleeper hit, Angry Bird. Angry Bird, I, yeah, right? I mean, like, yeah, you, you wanna be like, oh, okay, I wanna pick someone else than, than you know, the winner, but like, this is deserving, because it wasn't even something you predicted, it was like out of nowhere, like, what was this man on when he Yo, did this? He came from left field with that dark mustache of his and that Seku, and like a ninja, he beat us all. That's crazy, you should question though, do you think he can keep this up? Or is this kind of like a one-off? You know, he had a, a great honeymoon and now it's it's all downhill and he's going for divorce after. Oh no, absolutely not. And I, because last year he beat, uh, he won the last European qualifier mm -hmm. to make it to Capcom yeah. Cup, beating lots of, lots of world-class talent yeah, yeah. with the with the underrated Zeku. And now that Zeku's still the same spot, still really strong neutral, mm -hmm. uh, I, I feel like it. he's gonna do amazing. And people don't. People are always sleeping on Europe and Middle East. Yeah, hey, UAE. And I hate. I hate that. <laughs> UAE popping off right now. I want to see that keep going. But anyways, dude, thanks for uh, popping off with us today. We out of time. Unfortunately, that's all we have for today's esports and 30. But Drew will of course be back here next week to chat about the 2GG Prime Saga. Huge ups to Jackie, of course, for hanging out with us today. Tomorrow it's Rocket League Day, and we'll take you through the opening week of the RLCS. Until then, follow us on all our socials at Squad State. We'll see you tomorrow. Ooh.